Hello, my name's Sean Weston, and I'm managing editor of foodbev.com. Greg Watson is one of the founders of Juice Brewery in the UK. Claire Phoenix talks to him at IFE 11 about the company's range of soft brew drinks. I'm here with Greg at IFE from Soft Launched a few years ago. What's been happening since then? Um, a, a lot of things. Um, that going back now. Um, obviously, it was very exciting days for us. We just really got going, um, and we um, went off and did the awards out in Munich. I think with you guys, and we came runner-up to Pepsi Raw. The IFE went very well. We got a, a fresh innovation, um, and then after all of that, it was down to really good hard work, basically. Then, and we started doing a lot of sampling which has been rewarded, you know, um, we're in a lot of restaurants around the country, we've got a, a good break now, we're into Waitrose, uh, we got in there in the middle of last year. Um, the, the business is going stronger, we're getting better relationships with all our trade um, and, and support. Um, we've also opened up the Juice Brewery out in Australia, we license it out there and manufacture a product out there, and another soft brew. And I think that's the big challenge for us, getting the message of soft brew out into the marketplace, that there is this new drink that is a fantastic uh, alternative to alcohol. We, you know, are the retailers looking at it? Yeah. When you said waitress, anybody else? Um, we've got other re uh, retailers that have, have shown interest. That's the reason we're here today, basically. We're hoping that you know, a Tesco or a, a Sainsbury's will come on board and, um, and see, see whether we get into those outlets. And M&S, what's it called in there? It's M&S Soft Brew. We supply them with a soft brew. Um, uh, uh, and drink and it's under their own label and they've been fantastic to us in in m and we give them um, a apple and a black currant and a citrus and that's the three that you do generally yes yeah. there are three general and approach and every label to be packaged it's really nice it's the crew Band. Yeah, again, lessons we learned very much from the early days, um, coming to the IFE and talking with the trade, but also especially with the consumers. Uh, you know, you must have got to be a bit grown up. People tell you that maybe it's not quite right. So we repackaged, we simplified. Um, and the key message we want to get out there is there a new category called soft brew. So as you see now, it's, it's still hopper, but hopper takes the back seat. It's a, it's a soft brew, either soft brew citrus, it's a soft brew black currant, etc. That's the important message. Um, what have we got planned? What's coming next? Oh, what's planning next? Um, we'll have some new flavours that we'll bring out. Um, oh, I think the ginger and elderflower will come out over the next three, four months. And we've got loads of other flavours we've, we've developed as well. One thing we found is that with the unique process that we've created, where you know we, we actually use a traditional brewing process, but then stop it before it ferments and blend in um, the, the, the fruit juices, that there's lots of different fruit flavours that go well. Um, my particular favourite um, I like we've got a red grape one which I think is a fantastic product um, and also one that um, I think would be perfect for the Spanish market because we do want to get into Europe is an orange one an orange soft brew oh, so a bit different but because um, I think the orange connotation for the UK is probably more for breakfast but I think over there it'd be fantastic um, French distributors have been and seen they like the black currant soft brew maybe that's because of cassis in France yes. um, so you know it's all exciting times for us it is a slightly different bottle. When, if you remember, when we first launched, we had a crown top, and again, we were very much centred on pubs in those early days. But we took learnings again from consumers, and they wanted it at lunchtime with sandwiches. They wanted it in the delis, so we put a twist top on it. So we've got a slightly narrower neck on a different bottle, but it's still the same size, a two seven five. We've certainly done very well surviving the last two years. I mean, there are a lot of uh, soft drinks coming, it's probably gone by the wayside and you're obviously doing something different. Well, I mean, to be honest, it, you've just got to you are where you are. If the markets are hard, then you've just got to work that a little bit harder. We're still a small entrepreneurial based family outfit. You know, um, the people that are involved at the beginning are still involved. We've got some great shareholders that have, have supported us all the way through. Um, and um, it's still, you know, it's still really, really exciting waking up and going into somewhere like Waitrose and picking up your products on the shelf. Um, Fantastic. Thank, thank you. you very much, Greg. Cheers, thanks. Thanks again for downloading this podcast. For more news, analysis, opinion, interviews and multimedia for the food and beverage industry, go to foodbev.com.